They say we are not alone in the universe, that there must be other intelligent civilizations out there. But if they exist, why haven't we seen any signs of them? This is the Fermi Paradox, a perplexing riddle that has captivated scientists and thinkers for decades. In this video, we will delve deep into this cosmic mystery, exploring various theories and possible explanations to unravel the enigma. Where are they? Get ready to embark on an intellectual journey through space and time as we attempt to uncover the truth behind one of humanity's greatest conundrums. The Fermi Paradox is one of the most enduring mysteries in astrophysics named after Enrico Fermi, the Italian physicist who first proposed it. The paradox asks a simple but profound question. If our galaxy is teeming with intelligent alien civilizations, where are they? Fermi came up with his paradox while discussing the possibility of extraterrestrial life with colleagues at Los Alamos National Laboratory. He pointed out that the Milky Way contains hundreds of billions of stars, many of which are similar to our sun and support habitable planets given the vastness of the cosmos and the statistical likelihood of alien life. He reasoned we should have been visited by aliens by now. So where are they? This question has puzzled astronomers and physicists for decades. Some have suggested that aliens might be deliberately avoiding us, while others believe that we simply haven't found them yet. The truth may be somewhere in between recent breakthroughs in our understanding of planetary formation and habitability have shed new light on the Fermi paradox. We now know that planets like Earth are rarer than we once thought, and that it may be very difficult for intelligent life to emerge and thrive on other worlds. This doesn't mean that aliens don't exist. It just means that they might be much harder to find than we initially thought. As we continue to search for signs of life beyond Earth, the Fermi Paradox will remain an intriguing mystery. But with each, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence SETI has been ongoing for decades. But we have yet to find any conclusive evidence of intelligent life outside of our own planet. This has led to a number of theories about why this might be the case. One of which is the Fermi Paradox. Basically, the paradox states that given the age and size of the universe, it should be teeming with intelligent life. So where are they? One possible explanation for the lack of evidence for intelligent alien life is what is known as the technological singularity. The technological singularity is a hypothetical point in time when technological progress becomes so rapid that it surpasses human intelligence, leading to a future in which machines can create their own technology and humans become obsolete. After reaching the technological singularity, humanity would become what is known as post-human post, human beings would be vastly different from anything we can currently imagine. As their intelligence would be on a completely different level, they would no longer be bound by the limitations of our physical bodies and could exist in any form. They chose. They would also have access to technology that we cannot even begin to comprehend. It is possible that post-human beings might not even consider us worth communicating with, let alone visiting. Another possibility is that there are other intelligent alien civilizations out there. As scientists continue to search for an answer to the Fermi paradox, some have proposed alternative explanations for why we have yet to find evidence of intelligent alien life. One such explanation is the zoo hypothesis, which suggests that Earth may be under observation by aliens who are intentionally hiding themselves from us. This hypothesis was first proposed by Freeman Dyson in 1960 and has since been elaborated on by other scientists. The basic idea is that advanced civilizations may have decided to quarantine Earth in order to protect us from their own technology. They may believe that our primitive level of technology poses a threat to their own way of life, or they may simply want to study us like we study animals in a zoo. There are a number of reasons why aliens might choose to observe us from afar, but the most likely explanation is that they don't want to interfere with our development. By keeping us isolated, they can ensure that we evolve at our own pace and avoid any potential disasters that could be caused by contact with a more advanced civilization. So far, there is no concrete evidence to support the zoo hypothesis, but it remains a popular theory among those who are trying to explain the Fermi paradox. It's possible that we are being watched by aliens right now and just don't know it. Or it could be that the universe is full of intelligent life, but we're just not looking in the right place. Either way, there are a number of possible solutions to the Fermi Paradox, each of which has its own merits and demerits. One popular solution is the zoo hypothesis, which posits that advanced civilizations deliberately refrain from contacting 
or interfering with less developed ones. Another solution is the rare earth hypothesis, which suggests that the conditions necessary for intelligent life to evolve are actually quite rare, making our civilization one of the few in the Milky Way galaxy. Both of these solutions have their supporters and detractors, but neither can be definitively proven or disproven at this time. It's possible that the answer to the Fermi paradox lies somewhere in between these two extremes, or it could be something entirely different. Only time will tell if we ever find out what happened to all those other civilizations out there in the cosmos. In any case, it is clear that the Fermi paradox remains an intriguing and unsolved mystery, with no obvious answer in sight. As we continue to explore the universe and seek out answers to these types of questions, it is important to remember that the universe may be far stranger than we can imagine. There are a few possible explanations for the Fermi paradox. Maybe we haven't found aliens because they're all too far away, or because they're all dead. Or maybe it's because we're not looking in the right places. But one thing is for sure, the universe is big, and there's a lot of room for other life forms to exist. So where do we go from here? How can we find these other life forms? One way is to keep searching the night sky for signs of intelligent life. Another is to look for planets that could support life and see if there are any signs of civilizations on them. And finally, we can keep doing what we're doing, exploring our solar system and beyond, and learning more about the universe every day. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll find the answer to Fermi's question. Or maybe we'll never know for sure. But either way, the search is worth it. The Fermi paradox is an age-old question that has baffled scientists for decades. We have sought to understand why, in a universe as vast and potentially abundant with life forms as ours appears to be, we haven't been able to detect any other intelligent forms of life. There are many potential answers, ranging from the philosophical, that we may be living in some kind of simulated reality, to the pragmatic, that civilizations self-destruct before they can reach our corner of space. Whatever the answer may be, it is clear that unraveling this puzzle will teach us much about our place in the universe and provide insight into what lies beyond our own planet.